Breaking news, the FBI is coming after traditional Catholics. FBI whistleblower Kyle Serafin obtained a leaked FBI document that details a plan to monitor American Catholics who prefer the traditional Latin rite of the Mass, labeling us as radical extremists for practicing the Catholic faith as all Catholics had from the Council of Trent through the 1960s. Is this really breaking news though? America has a long history of persecuting Catholics, from the Freemasons at our founding, to the Know Nothing Party of the mid 19th century, to the KKK and anti Catholic propaganda campaigns ran against Al Smith and JFK as they sought the presidency in the 20th century. Catholics, in some aspects, have always been viewed as an unwanted threat in some corners of America. Just last summer, the American magazine The Atlantic ran an article titled How the Rosary Became an Extremist Symbol. The rosary, aka the prayer beads that the entire Catholic Church of over 1.3 billion people used to pray and meditate on the mysteries of the life of Jesus Christ was labeled an extremist symbol. This is something we come to expect in the America we live in today. So was I really surprised that the FBI is targeting old school Catholics? No, not really. It's more surprising to me that it leaked. An eight page memo released on Wednesday by a former FBI agent turned whistleblower, Kyle Serafin, details plans to monitor Catholics as a new opportunity for threat mitigation. The FBI has labeled Catholics who attend the Tridentine Rite of the Mass with a new acronym calling us RTCs corresponding with their newly fabricated label of Radical Traditionalist Catholic Ideology, aka the Catholic Faith, as it has existed for millennia. This memo is the first FBI product to focus on the interests of racially or ethnically motivated violent extremists in the Radical Traditionalist Catholic Movement. It cites a study by the Southern Poverty Law Center on the subject of Radical Traditional Catholicism. Note that the Southern Poverty Law Center has been discredited as a source by the FBI at large, yet it was still the primary source for this defamatory memo. The report alleges that the real motivation is that RTC ideology poses an outlook that is white supremacist, anti-Semitic, anti-immigrant, and anti-LGBT in nature, and that this presents a threat to the United States' domestic well-being. The report further claims that adherents to the RTC ideology frequently share symbolism such as crusader references online, which share common support among pro-lifers, another group the FBI has been weaponized against. The FBI believes these violent extremists will continue to be attracted to radical traditionalist Catholic ideology, and will continue to try to connect with followers both online and at places of worship. So get ready to see FBI agents outside of your churches. Now when it comes to Catholicism, on three out of the four claims, the FBI is flat out wrong. The Catholic Church is accepting of anyone regardless of heritage. White, Black, Hispanic, Semitic, immigrant, or native born. We are not anti-Semitic. We pray for the conversion of all people who reject Jesus Christ and his church. But this is no different than how Catholics would pray for secular atheists, Muslims, or Buddhists, and in no way is an attack on Jewish people. The beauty of the traditional Latin rite is that it is universal. It has no preference for race, ethnicity, or even language. It is the same mass celebrated in America as it is in Italy, as it is in Africa, as it is in Brazil. It is the same mass celebrated in 2023 as was celebrated by the saints for centuries. But on the charge of being anti-LGBT, yes, the Catholic faith condemns the sins of sodomy, adultery, contraception, infanticide, murder, and the like, as do almost all Christian religions. It is only the ultra-liberal, ultra-modernist Catholic infiltrators who have become more flexible on this stance. Infiltrators who may occupy some of the church's unelected offices, but infiltrators nonetheless. Catholics are not violent, unless of course you subscribe to the left's new definition that speech that they don't like is akin to violence. No, as Catholics, we speak the truth, but we do so out of charity, not anger. We do so not to punish the sinner, 
but to save them. We pray for their conversion, their repentance, peacefully. The truth is, I understand the FBI's reasoning for wanting to target traditional Catholics. It's the same reason communist regimes outlawed Christianity in the 20th century. It's the same reason the pagan Roman Empire outlawed Christianity from the very start. Traditional Catholics will always put their loyalty to Christ and his church first, above loyalty to any nation state or government here on earth. This is why Christian fascism is such a joke of an insult. In a fascist society, the state is at the very top of the social hierarchy. But for any real Christian, this is simply impossible. Nothing comes before God, not family, not country, not self. Christ will always be first in our lives, and this is why they are coming after us. We are a threat to their vision of a liberal world order, their vision of pride parades and satanic festivals, their vision of a purely secular state and a docile population. Traditional Catholics are disciplined. We have strong families with lots of children, families which raise children with rigid traditional Catholic values to be uncompromising with the abundance of sin in the world we now live in. The FBI is not wrong. Traditional Catholics are a threat to the U.S. domestic agenda. An agenda which mutilates children if they are not first killed in the womb. An agenda that promotes promiscuity and sins of the flesh. An agenda of moral relativism that stomps on the wisdom of the universal church. An agenda which we will vote against. Catholics will always stand up in the face of evil. Catholics will always stand up in the face of persecution. The Lord says, Blessed are they that suffer persecution for justice' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Suffering is quite literally part of being Catholic, so embrace it. Catholics are called unto martyrdom, red or white. That being said, pick up your rosary and pray. Pray for our church. Pray for our country. Pray that the suffering your children bear be minimal. Pray for trust in God, and that in the end, you will always put Christ first. Christus vincent, Christus regnat, Christus imperat. Amen. If you enjoyed that video, please consider hitting that subscribe button and leaving a like. You can also check out the last video where we discussed the war for the traditional Catholic faith within the church. As always, see you next time, take care, and God bless.